Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I feel like I haven't really done like a like talking video in like two weeks. And that's because we got married, went on our honeymoon for a week, and we just got back. So we got back on Friday? No. Saturday. We got back on Saturday. Um, Saturday and Sunday we like worked in our house, unpacked things, cleaned it up, went through wedding stuff, like that kind of stuff. Then on Monday we plan on going and looking at a car that I have been, I've been eyeballing for a while, a new car. And so we went and the place did not have the car. They um, sold it on Saturday. We didn't know that, so we left and we were gonna go to a Volkswagen dealership because the car that I wanted was a Volkswagen. Um, and so when we were driving, we saw there was a Volkswagen dealership on the road. We turned around, went back, started talking to this guy. To make the story short, five hours later, we left in a Volkswagen Atlas, which is the car that I have been wanting. The color is an odd color. <laughs> um, I've never seen this color before. So like, I didn't want it because of the color, but it was the last one they had. It has literally no miles on it. And I was talking to my mom about it and she was like, just get it like you have been talking about this car forever like if it has everything you want if it's the car that you want then get it and so i thought about it we had some hoops we had to jump through because we didn't know if we were gonna be able to get it or not like it was really intense and like i got really sad because i thought i wasn't gonna get to have it and then the bank guy there worked it out and we got to leave in so it is a couple years old. It's a 2018 Volkswagen Atlas. It has 27,000 miles on it, so it hasn't really been driven much. Um, and so I'm gonna give you guys a tour of it. Um, it's pretty cool. I love it. I woke up, got dressed, and literally came right out here. Well, and because that is all the stuff from our old car, because we went in our old car in our Mitsubishi. We went in that car and we had everything in it and so we had to take everything out of it and it was just a hot mess. But I'm gonna reorganize everything. But here is the car tour. So this is the door. We have this like wood grain here and then it has speakers and the locks. All of the windows are power down windows like you touch them once and they go down. That's for obviously no windows. This could fall through, so we're gonna buy these little things that sit there, so you could like put your phone and stuff there. This is for the trunk, and then just storage. It has auto lights. It has le leather with the stitching up here. That is the speedometers, odometers, all that fun stuff. This is a really cool screen that shows a lot of information on it when the car is on. This is my steering wheel. It's um, leather with the beaded. And then it has car information, cruise control. This is the volume. This is how you switch through the stuff on that screen. Phone talk. Um, that's how you go up and down on the screen. And I'm not sure what that's for yet, because we just got it yesterday. And then it has this huge screen, it has a bunch of fingerprints on it because we used it, obviously. But it's really nice. I'll turn it on and show that to you guys in a little bit. And then this is the key. You can, it's remote start. Um, it has heated seats. This is the Prindle. If you watch uh, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, you understand the Prindle. It's, this is where the push start is. This is the emergency brake. And then, like it has stuff for some cooler capabilities, so I think we might try to upgrade a couple of things. And then these are obviously just the cup holders. And then it has the wood grain there. 
The glove box has the CD player and the micro SD or an SD card thing slot. They are black leather seats. This is the center console. I just threw, you know, masks and a pin and hand sanitizer because Corona. I already have to clean it because I went to my mom's and there's sand, but it came with these weather tech mats, which we are so excited about. This is the color. So the back seat is super cool, guys. It has, I don't even know how to use this thing. It has a window visor for when you have kids or if you're in the back seat. So that's awesome. It has this super cute little compartment that I just realized, like that's cool. Cup holder, or like I said, we're gonna get those little things for here. Back seat is, leather and then it has the AC controls for dual climate, two USBs and a 12 volt. So back seat's pretty self-explanatory. Obviously it's dirty because you know we went to my mom's yesterday and drove it. And this is a bigger one of the bigger SUVs. So that's how you open it and then you can push it forward and get to the third row seat which I can't pick up right now but there's a third row seat it's leather seats just like everything else it has the weather tech mats cup holders storage things and I don't know if y'all can tell right there it has AC so then to put this back you just seat it back and then there's a lever where you Push it back so it's back to normal. And then the back seat, it's beautiful. It says Atlas in beautiful, beautiful chrome writing. It opens up on its own. I obviously have stuff I need to clean, but it has this mat. I think I want to see if we can get a um, WeatherTech one. And then it came with normal mats, but we're not gonna use them, so I'm just gonna put them in our shed in case we ever decide to change it. So, it has that, and it came with these little things. It said, they said at the dealership if we had like something to, that we didn't want to slide around, you just stick it on there, it sticks to the mat and it holds it in place. really good storage on the sides we always have a football um, our extra chargers and we always have frisbees in our car so I just have to kind of organize that stuff and I'll go ahead and show you how we can do the back seats so it has this string that you pull and then it has a headrest that comes up like it comes up more and then to put it down you just the lever, push it, and it goes. So that is our brand new 2018 Volkswagen Atlas with technology. I am so excited about this car, you guys. I told Luke, I said, if you come home and I'm at home, it's just because I'm on a road trip somewhere and like driving in our car, because I'm excited and I like it. Um, the plan was for us to get a car with more power and bigger because we did just get married. We don't have kids yet. We do want kids though. So since we want kids, we want to be able to have a car for years and years and years and have wiggle room. And this car gives us that option. Um, we said we're going to have it for at least 10 years, at least 10 years. Um, but I love it. It has everything I wanted. I want it in a car, minus the sunroof, 
but I don't need a sunroof. I live in Texas and it's hot and I would like probably die with the sunroof. So it has all the technology that I want. And I will turn it on for you guys. So y'all can see how it is when I turn it on. So this is the screen I was telling you about. It shows the volume. It does all kinds of stuff. This is the um, screen, the menu. We have settings, images, app connect, which you plug in your phone to the USB and then it connects through that. You have media, which is the aux cord, or you can do Bluetooth, my music, songs, and it has all of the music. That's on my phone, and we'll just, we'll just select a song. I don't know what it's doing. It's because it's connected, so it's acting weird. But this is like my favorite list or whatever. And when you get, it makes it bigger. It's really cool. And then if you, let me actually turn the car on. It's super fancy and my back door is open, that door is open so the car might freak out. But if you put it in reverse, it has multiple options. It says that it's open so you can't really tell. It has different camera options but it's not going to work because the back door is open. But yeah, so that is our new car. I hope you guys like this video. I'm going to get everything organized and set up in here. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions about my car, let me know. If you have any tips, if you have this car and have any tips about it, let me know. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see y'all in the next video.